8 quick and easy tips to boost FPS in Fortnite. Get ready for some game-changing tweaks to supercharge your FPS in Windows. These tips are gonna take your gaming experience to the next level. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into it. First off, hit the Windows key along with R on your desktop. That'll bring up a little box. In there, paste systempropertiesperformance.exe and hit OK. Now, you'll see a window pop up with visual effects. Click on Adjust for Best Performance. It'll uncheck a bunch of boxes, but we're not done yet. Now, what I want you to do is to check animations in the taskbar, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show windows content while dragging, and smooth edges of screen fonts. Don't forget to hit apply and then OK to lock in those changes. Alright, let's tackle step 2. Back on your desktop, right-click anywhere and hit personalize. Now, in the background section, you want to choose either picture or even better, go for a solid color. Avoid using slideshow or window spotlight as they can cause some annoying lag spikes. Scroll down a bit and click on taskbar. Under taskbar items, I usually prefer hiding my search bar. But it's also a good idea to uncheck task view, widgets, and chat if you're not using them. Now, let's move to the system tray icons. It's best to turn them off. Lastly, at the bottom, you'll find device usage. I recommend turning off all of these for smoother performance. Step 3 is all about optimizing your app settings. Head over to your settings and look for install apps. Here, you'll want to review all the apps installed. If you stumble upon apps like Microsoft Teams that you don't use, simply click on the three dots and uninstall it. Do the same for any other unnecessary apps like Mail and Calendar if you use alternatives like Chrome or Gmail. You'll probably find a bunch of other apps cluttering your PC that you never touch. Get rid of them. After that, dive into advanced app settings. Check out Share Across Devices and turn it off. Next up, look into Startup. You'll want to disable Startup for apps that have a high impact such as Microsoft Edge if you use Chrome instead. Scroll down and you'll find more apps to tweak. For instance, if you don't use Microsoft OneDrive, which is also high impact, it's better to turn it off from starting up with your PC. Let's keep things streamlined for better performance. Alright, let's dive into step 4. Head back into your settings, this time under System. First up, under Notifications, scroll all the way down to Additional Settings and click on it. Here, uncheck both Show the Windows Welcome Experience After Update and Suggest ways to get the most out of Windows and finish setting up this device. Also, make sure to uncheck the third one if you haven't already. These little tweaks can help avoid those annoying micro stutters when these notifications pop up. Next, scroll lightly down to Power. Here, you can customize your power mode to optimize your PC. Currently, I've got it on Balanced, but if you click on it, you'll see two options. Best Power Efficiency and Best Performance. Many of you will benefit from setting this to Best Performance, but give it a try and see what works best for you. It's all about finding the sweet spot for your PC's performance. Alright, let's tackle step 5. Back into the settings we go, this time into gaming. First things first, under Game Bar, make sure to turn it off. This can really bog down your FPS, so it's best to give it a boot. Next up, under Graphics, click on Change Default Graphic Settings. You'll spot Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This feature can shift some load from your CPU to your GPU, but it might not work well for everyone. Most folks find it better to turn it off. Give it a shot though, especially if you've got the latest graphics card. Now, for variable refresh rate, keep this one on. And optimizations for windowed games should be off since you should be playing in full screen for better performance. Move on to captures and turn off all those settings. You don't need any of that stuff while you're gaming. Now onto game mode, it's handy to keep this on as it helps shut down background processes while you play. In accessibility, under the visual effects, you can choose to always show scroll bars if you find it useful. For a slight FPS boost, uncheck transparency effects. This will give you a cool looking dark theme and a little performance boost. You can also ditch animation effects for another small FPS boost. Lastly, scroll down and hit the captions button. If you don't use them, turn captions off. That's it for step 5. Alright, let's tackle step 6. First off, type in services in your search bar and click on the first result. Inside here, you'll want to disable all the unnecessary services you don't use. For example, if you don't use the wallet service, 
find it, right click, go to properties, set the startup type to disabled, and hit apply then OK. Repeat this process for other services like the Windows Insider service. Another handy trick is to clean up your temporary files. Hit the Windows key and R, then type in each of these commands you see on the screen. First up, type temp, select all or control A, and delete. Then repeat the process for percentage, temp, percentage. Lastly, type in prefetch and clean up those files too. This helps free up some space and keeps your system running smoothly. And now, let's dive into step 7. Head into your settings then under privacy and security. First up, in the general section, uncheck all those options. This prevents Windows from tracking your data and popping up suggestions that can cause slight lag spikes. Next, in the speech section, turn it off if you don't use it. Same goes for inking and typing personalization. Move on to diagnostics and feedback. Disable this one too to prevent unnecessary feedback being sent to Windows. Lastly, under app permissions, go through each one and disable the permissions for any apps you don't use. This keeps your privacy intact and your system running smoothly. Alright, step 8. Type in Windows Update and check for updates. You can then proceed to update your Windows to the latest version. This can be really beneficial for many folks, but it's worth noting that for some, it might cause issues. If you're experiencing performance problems, updating Windows might help, but if everything's running smoothly, sticking with your current version is just fine. Now, scroll down a bit to Delivery Optimization. I prefer to turn this option off. This can help prevent unnecessary background processes and ensure your system resources are used more efficiently. So there you have it folks, those are the ultimate Windows tweaks guaranteed to turbocharge your FPS and take your gaming to the next level. If these tips gave your gaming rig a boost, don't be shy. Show some love with a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. And hey, before you bounce, why not explore some of our other videos? There's a lot of info of tech goodness waiting for you. Happy gaming and see you in the next one.